Pixelmator Pro 3.6 Archipelago introduces a range of powerful new masking features, including the all-new vector masks. And in this video, we'll take a closer look at what these new masks can do and explore other exciting additions in this major update. First, let's quickly recap how masks work. In short, they are a special type of layer that lets you hide parts of other layers without permanently deleting them. There are two main types of masks in Pixelmator Pro. Regular layer masks that are pixel-based and let you paint on the mask with white, black, or gray to hide or reveal specific areas. And the new vector masks that now let you control which parts of layers are visible or hidden using vector shapes. From now on, you can add any type of mask you need much faster and easier than ever before. For example, previously, to round the corners of an image, you would need to create a rounded rectangle shape, move it below the image layer, and then clip the image onto it using a clipping mask. Now, it's much simpler. All you have to do is double-click the image, then simply position the mask and adjust its corners as needed. It's that easy. Or, if you're looking to quickly mask an image into any other shape, you can choose your desired option from the New Mask menu at the top of the Layers sidebar. Also, since vector masks are made up of vector paths, you can edit them just like you edit shapes by adjusting individual anchor points. To make a mask editable, again, simply double-click it. Then you can freely move, add or delete individual points to create a desired shape. Finally, if you've added a mask and want to replace it with a different one, just select any shape you need from the Shape Browser at the bottom of the screen. This brings us to another new feature in this update, the on-canvas mask controls. These controls automatically appear when you select or create a new mask, giving you quick access to all the tools you need to edit, refine masks, or easily swap between different mask shapes. Along with other mask improvements, this update also brings an incredible new Hide Background feature. Using the power of AI, it automatically detects the subject in an image and hides everything else with a mask, carefully preserving all the fine details around the subject. If you want to refine the background mask any further, you can use the new Paint and Erase brushes to easily hide or reveal some extra details by simply painting over them. The Hide Background feature makes it a breeze to change backgrounds or use the subject in any other designs without modifying the original image. And that wraps up the biggest updates in today's release. We've introduced some fantastic new features designed to help you bring your creative ideas to life more quickly and easily. For a complete list of features added in this update, be sure to check out the full release notes on our What's New page at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, 